Hi, my name is Tim Autry. I am the founder and CEO of the Practicing Perfection Institute and the executive director of the Human Performance Association. The question that I'm going to answer for you in this video is, what is human performance? Why does one person perform one way under a given set of circumstances when under those same set of circumstances another person would do something entirely different? Why, for example, do some people roll through stop signs when they're driving their cars and others make sure they come to a complete stop? In your organization, why do some people always wear their personnel protective equipment or PPE without exception, whereas others will only wear it if they're afraid they're going to get caught? And if we really want to get, you know, down to a personal level on this, take your hands like this, if you would, for just a second and put them together. Which finger's on top? Is it your left finger or your right finger? Chances are you've been doing it that way your entire life. Why is that? Well, that's what human performance is all about. But you know, if we go out and we try to find a definition on the internet or in the dictionaries or whatever for human performance, right now, or until now I should say, it's all been pretty much scattered. For example, if we go to Wikipedia, we find the definition for human performance is a field of study related to process improvement methodologies such as Lean, Six Sigma, organizational development, human factors, etc. There's even an organization called the Human Performance Institute. Now, if you go to that website, you'll find out that that's all about sports performance and team performance. And when it comes to human performance in sports, you know, I think Yogi Berra put it best when he said, 80% of sports is physical. The other 80% is mental. And that's what I want to talk about for the rest of this video, the mental part of human performance. You know, relative to improving performance in organizations, we've got all kinds of great things going on. We've got Six Sigma initiatives, we've got Lean, we've got human performance toolboxes and tool handbooks, we've got databases out the wazoo, we've engaged in safety culture, we've engaged in going after pursuing a just, just culture, and we're even working on developing high reliability organizations. You know, every single one of those involves some excellent stuff, but what's at the core of all of it? What makes it all work together? Well, the answer to that is human performance. So finally, what is human performance? And how can you focus on it properly to improve performance in your organization? Well, there's a very simple definition, a next level definition, which highlights the elements of human performance. This definition is HP equals W times R plus B. Now what those elements stand for, obviously HP stands for human performance. The W stands for why, and we're going to be talking a lot about that in this in these video series. The R stands for results, what somebody does, and the B stands for behaviors, how they do what they do. So what we can then do is we can put this formula together to come up with a very simple word definition for human performance, which is simply why people do what they do the way they do it. This lies at the core of everything you would ever want to do in your organization to improve performance. Until next time, I'm Tim Autry. Thanks for watching. If you found this information to be valuable and would like to receive free access to an entire library of videos answering the top questions people ask me about human performance and reducing human error, visit futureofperformanceimprovement.com.